Stan Gibalesco here from the black holes of Dakota Territory, the land of snoiterers, which we've been experiencing for the past at least 24 hours. They keep saying a coating to an inch, a coating to an inch. Well, we've had about eight coatings to an inch, one on top of the other so far, non-stop. It's really amazing. You just, uh, I got out and I did my stuff, but the point of this video is that uh, I made it to the Deadwood Rec Center today and one of the ladies who was uh, walking in with me said, I'm surprised they've got school open on a day like this. A day like what? Where it's 20 degrees outside and snowing at the rate of an inch about every three hours or four hours? And she's surprised that they've got school open. When I was a kid, I recall in fifth grade, I was one of those patrol boys, you know, who held the flag out to make the cars stop so the kids could cross the street. And I went out one day when it was 20 below with a 40 mile an hour wind. True blizzard, whiteout conditions, School was open, and I went out because they didn't tell me not to. <laughs> Today, that would be called reckless endangerment. To even open a school on a day like that might be called reckless endangerment. But I went out thinking, well, you know, if, if these kids want to cross the street and their car is coming, i got to hold this flag out and stop them. And, uh... Of course, nobody drove by and no kids came by. And I started staggering through the Minnesota snow drifts in that howling blizzard, similar to the one that they're having now in uh, East Dakota, Iowa, Minnesota, and some of Wisconsin, except colder and windier. Uh, a deadly storm, a killer storm to go out in. But I went out in it because they didn't tell me not to. And on the way back, I remember feeling this incredible urge to go to sleep. To just lie down in a snowdrift and fall asleep. I be became amazingly sleepy. And then a friend came by, another patrol boy, his face beat red from the cold and said, We'll make it stand, you know, let's, let's get back. And if not for him, I very well might have frozen to death. That's what it's like to freeze to death. It's, it doesn't hurt at all. You just lie down and fall asleep. And stay that way forever. Don't do it. Uh, well, unless, well, if you, no, don't do it. If they have school open on a day like that today, uh, the, the, the teachers and the administrators would be in prison, <laughs> I think. Here in the black holes of Dakota Territory, where we get four or five foot snows that pop. And they, would, uh, they were surprised that they were sending school uh, kids to school on a day like this. We've come a long way, baby. At least those kids aren't going to die. Stan Jubilisco, signing off, having escaped death a quadrillion times in his life, that just being one. Dang! Maybe I should have fallen asleep and then you wouldn't have to listen to these rants. But truly, that's what it's like to freeze to death. You just go to sleep. Until next time, stay off the roads during blizzards like that. So long.